Statistics reveal that over 160 million people smoke marijuana globally. If all these people live in one place, they will represent the seventh largest country in the world. Available documentation traces the earliest origin of marijuana to China, around 37-27 BC. Scientists call it cannabis sativa. The only person calls it bang. But to those who it is dearest to them, the Rasta men, they call it the holy hub. We've been crisscrossing streets regardless of the risk factors involved. Our main aim being to demystify this weed called marijuana. In the course of our investigation, we were able to discover two contrasting phenomena of marijuana use. What the Rastafarian culture keeper believes of the weed, and also what the ordinary user take it for. We followed one of the users to find out how they obtain and use the drug. However, we could not get to the dealers on camera because of their unwillingness to be identified. In the world, many governments have illegalized the use and possession of marijuana. However, unlike other drug users, marijuana users have quite unique reasons for its use. You know, I man respect hub and I man respect kush, you know. When people smoke kush, many of them misuse it. But I man use it wisely as a bobo shanti, you know. Every time me smoke hub, me do me works perfect. Some smoke it, some grind to sniff, some boil and drink. But all in all, cannabis is one of the most famous illegal drugs used on a daily basis globally. The Rastaman gives several reasons for marijuana use, ranging from medical to spiritual. Black Moses, a member of the Rastafarian community, claims it is the missing link between man and the environment. Just like when Ja planted trees for mango, trees for oranges and different plants like maize and beans, he also planted that seed in that garden. To Ayanai culture, Rastafari culture, Hub is a sacrament. Yeah, man. It's an incense that we burn when we are in prayer. It is good for children, good for father, good for mother, good for all ages, because it is the healing of the nation. Yeah, man. You see, there is so many uses of it. It is not only the Rasta who displays affection toward the Hub. Other contemporary users have even a deeper affection. When asked to talk about this weed, they went into something close to a violent display of passion. It is this religious attachment to the drug that will make one pose the question, is it affection or is it addiction? But we still wondered, can anyone abuse something so precious to the Rasta man? And we wondered why the government is worried that the user is likely to develop cancerous infections. When me was five years till now, me never get cancer. I'm an intellectual, I know cancer comes from abnormal tissue grow, you know. Them try to trick us. I'm an no ganja, you know, yeah. The Rastaman claims the hub is for inspiration, meditation, and healing of the nation. It is also noticeable that there is a close relationship between users and their line of work. Some artists attribute excellence in their work to marijuana use. You smoke too. Uh, nenda na do my music because na kwa more creative na kwanga. And when I'm under influence na kwa I have that courage. I have everything. As in, na sketu ni kopoa ni comfortable. I can do my thing with you. Don't you? Even as controversy grows by the day as to whether marijuana should be legalized, 
it is apparent that no form of debate can change the perspective of the user. Should we therefore embrace diversity and accept these users to a contemporary society, or should we follow the law enforcer and criminalize all activities regarding marijuana? For so long people have been fighting this seed. While it is not man-made, it is just creation. So the reason why they are fighting it, it is because it brings people together. George Majesu, reporting for Kibera TV, Nairobi.